So guys, it's been a while since I've done a setup type video. For the most part, I don't even mention my gaming habits. I don't game too much, so that's why in this video I'm combining this as my YouTube and gaming setup. So let's take a look behind us to see what we got going on right now. So guys, before we get started, you better watch till the end of the video because I'm giving away this huge thing. It's actually something that's identical in my setup. So if you wanna know what it is, if you wanna win it, stick around to the end of the video to find out details. In the meantime, sit back, like the video, subscribe, and let's get started. So to my left is basically what powers the whole setup as far as the computer. It's a laptop actually. You can unplug it and take it to go. And yes, this is probably one of the biggest laptops ever. <laughs> This is the Alienware R4 2016 edition. It's got an i7-6700 processor. It's got a 1070. It's got 16 gigs of RAM and so on and so forth. But what I really like about it is that it's portable to some extent. It's like portable in my house. If you want to travel with this thing, like you're going to have to put it in a suitcase because most bags are not even going to fit this. Like it is, it is big. Like, it's huge, don't get me wrong, but it's portable enough to be carried through my house. And that's what I really like about it. I can undock it from here, go in my living room, go in my kitchen, go outside even. And it's just really convenient. So I have this right here. And currently right now I have my PS4 connected to the monitor. So sometimes what I'll do, I'll have my laptop open and then I'll have my PS4 connected to the monitor so I can kind of like multitask. But when I don't want to use the PS4, I can hook the Alienware up to the display by using this display port. It's mini display to just regular display port. I connect it in the back and then I can change it. So just like that, I have my Alienware connected to my display. Now I can output 4K if I need to. Typically like if I'm doing 4K editing or if I want to do a little bit more um, intensive gaming, I can do it on this. 4K with the 1070 isn't really possible on a lot of newer games, but some older games, it definitely is possible. So I try to do it when I can. For my mouse, obviously when I have the Alienware shut, I wanna use a mouse. So nothing but the best. I have the MX Master first generation. I know the second generation just came out, but <laughs> I just picked this up. So there's no point in, really, in me really getting a new one. I do really like it because it's chargeable through micro USB. Um, it has so many different settings you can use, but honestly for me, the, the charging and just the ergonomics of the mouse itself are the reasons I got it. It's super comfortable and I like not having to use AA batteries. You probably notice I am missing something. I need a keyboard for this setup. I usually just do my laptop and then use the monitor for gaming most of the time. So that's why I don't keep my uh, keyboard right here. But if I do wanna use the keyboard and mouse with my monitor, I have the Razer Black Widow Chroma version two right here. So I load it up on my desk. I usually do something fancy, like I'll wrap it around my monitor so it's not obnoxious. And then I'll plug it in. I really like that it came with this little wrist rest. It's basically made to go exactly with the keyboard. It just kind of clips right on it. It's just really comfortable, really ergonomic, and just really satisfying to type on. So I really like it for when I do need a keyboard. Like I mentioned before, I don't really need everything all at once. It would make this setup a little bit junky at times. I love that this setup has like the flexibility. So typically like if I'm doing homework, yes, I go to school too, but that's another video. If I'm doing homework, I will like have my laptop open. I'll have the keyboard on the ground. I'll use the laptop and I'll have all this open space for my books and stuff. So it's really nice. Also, like if I'm filming B-roll, I can basically clear the desk, just have my laptop if I need it there. So that's also a really good benefit as well. And the monitor that I mentioned is nothing special. It's just a 4K 60 Hertz monitor by LG. I'll put links to everything in the description below that I'm talking about anyway. I really don't know the model numbers off the top of my head. It's literally just a basic 4K monitor, but I really like it. Um, it works really good for me and my needs. I wish it had USB Type-C to go along with my Alienware because it has that as well. But for me to get a USB Type-C monitor, it would have been quite a bit more. 
Okay, and also in the setup, you can see I have various lights. They're controlled by Philips Hue, so I can definitely change the colors if I want to. Right now, they're just set on some random color. So let's see if I can change that. It's so bright in here right now, so you can't really see them too much, but it really does add like really good ambiance at night when the lights are off and I just want to do like gaming or studying. It's really good just to add to it. And I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total hue bulbs or hue devices on my desk. It's pretty obnoxious, but I like the flexibility that you can basically do one color of the rainbow if you wanted to. And last but not least is this huge sound base. You see what my monitor is on? This is actually one big speaker. So think of like a sound bar, but this is a base where you can actually use it as a monitor stand. So Fluence reached out to me, they wanted me to review their sound base, and I initially was gonna use it with my TV, but when I opened it, I saw the color, it looked really good, it has this wood, it's made with real wood, so it's it just goes with my setup, like the all black and like brown type of look. It looks really good with everything. And what I like is that it has a lot of different inputs, so it's very flexible with my setup. Right now I have an optical cable going from the sound base to the monitor, and then I have the monitor going to the PS4 and then my laptop. So basically I can switch inputs from different things, and the sound base still works. Also has Bluetooth as well, so you can definitely, you know, hook up your phone to it and just listen to jams as you're studying or editing, stuff like that. And while I typically don't use this because it's on my desk, I'll just use the built-in touch controls right on the device itself. You can use the controller to basically change the input, change it from 3D sound to bass, um, to Bluetooth, all the stuff like that. I'm actually giving one away as well. They sent me two. So I can give away one. So I'll put links in the description below for instructions how to enter. Um, I am sorry, I really am, but I can only do this as US only because if you knew how big this package was, it would be like, I would not be surprised like $200 to ship this internationally. <laughs> uh, I ain't got that budget. So unfortunately this giveaway is US only, but it's a really good sound base for anyone in the US. Definitely check out the links in the description below. I'll also put links to Amazon as well if you just wanna buy one for yourself. It's a really good product. And I mentioned my PS4 already. I don't really game all that much, but I like to have it on my desk because I feel like if it's out of sight, it's out of mind and I'll never use it. And I'm always so busy with like with work and school and YouTube, I need to force myself to just kinda of like relax blow some steam off, stuff like that. So I've kind of incorporated the PS4 into my setup. Right now I'm actually playing Horizon Zero Dawn. It's a really good game. I just don't have too much time to play it, but when I do play it, I really do enjoy it. Sometimes I get a little bit frustrated and end up like rage quitting, but <laughs> that's a personal issue I have to work on. And if you're wondering about the actual top of the desk, it's made with real cork. I got that from Ikea. If you have a local Ikea, you've probably seen it. It's been there for, I think over a year they've carried it. So it's just a really common product you can get there. I'll link to that as well if I can find it. Uh, the lights are from Target. <laughs> uh, it's a little hard to find those, but if I can find those, I'll also link to them as well. And that's it guys. So remember, enter the giveaway for the soundbar. Check out the links for everything in the description below if you're curious, but that is it. This is my YouTube and gaming setup. July 2007, I was about to say July 2014, it is not 2014. July 2017 edition. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later, bye.